Hello everyone, love for bricks here, and today I will be uh, basically showing you my uh, Lego collection, essentially, basically everything, and uh, yeah, you guys seem to really enjoy the collection video, so I thought, hey, let's do a Lego one, and well, here we are now, so uh, why don't we just get started? <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. After this edit, right now. So anyway, sorry if it looks a bit weird. I have uh, the light on right now because it was kind of dark, so I have the light on. So it might be a little weird. But anyway, it's basically three shelves here and then four shelves there of just Legos. Yeah. And I can see I have a lot of it, or at least a decent amount, compared to like other Lego YouTubers. This isn't that much, but to me this is this is a lot, a lot more than what I had when I was a kid, for sure. But yeah, there are also some open spaces here and there, but I'll go into more detail about why that's that. We can just get started here. And basically, this is just what I consider my city. Essentially, just uh, what everyday things are normally here uh yes normal everyday things normal but yeah just just essentially like my mini city here and it's just yeah there's a arctic helicopter in a, a, a city right and you can just see there's a, a skis and all that it's pretty nice i like this helicopter a lot it's just a more banana guy back there Okay, I'll stop. But behind him, if you can see, that's from one of my videos. Not sure if you'll know where that's from, but it's from a video. And then here is uh, the house of Tim and Jim right there. They're just hanging out there. And then that bag right there is the accessories for this set. This Sanctum Thinktorum. One of my favorite sets of all time right here. This, this, is, this is just great. This is great. Just look. What is that? Right there. Uh, I think that's that's the reflection off of. Because there's a lot of windows. It looks actually. Yeah, it looks really weird. You guys, you guys see that right there on the wall? Okay, moving on. All right. So the lights off where this shelf because it's, uh, it's it's pretty light, and you can just see. It's my Bionicle collection, or at least the first two years. We have the Toa Mata, the Toa Nuva, and then the Borok along with the Mc <laughs> McTorin or Matorin, but I like to call it McTorin because it came from McDonald's. Here's uh, the Krata in here, Krata. And then we just have all my mask that I don't really have a figure to place on right now, just laying there, and it looks pretty neat. I like it. I love the Tomata. Always okay. It was a bad idea to put Onua, Onua back there because he's he's not as tall as you. I should probably put him <laughs> as the front because I can't really see him. But I I always wanted the Tomata. Always wanted them, and when I finally got them, I was really excited and happy. But yeah, looks looks pretty good. Yeah, there we go. And oh yeah, these are some Star Wars fat heads or. Like the stickers that you put on, and I, I'm I'm not really a huge fan of Star Wars, but I had them laying around and I didn't really want to waste them, so I just slapped them onto the wall. Yeah. Next shelf. Here is essentially my Bionicle Generation Two shelf, along with some 2009 Bionicles, and then a 2008 Bionicle right there. But yeah, these guys look really good. For those of you who know who this guy is, which is probably not a lot of you, but yeah, he's 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 cool. Along with this guy and okay, that that that's not a bionicle. What what's 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 this doing here? <laughs> uh, yeah. And now I'm surprised, but this guy, 
I do not want to touch at all because a lot of his joints, if not most of them, or all of them, are actually not broken, which I'm surprised about because it's the nine all oh, joints are broken. I think one of his hands joints broke and I replaced it with a yellow one. Yeah, if you can see right there. But yeah, essentially the rest of him is like not broken, which I'm surprised about. But yeah, here's the Kimu. And then there's uh, the massive creation right there. Yeah, I need, I need to clean these. It's a lot of dust. This is a pretty cool mock. I use uh, the skull spider heads as his shoulder fat, shoulder armor. Pretty cool. Yeah. And there are my two shelves of Bionicles. Next. All right, so this is a pretty em empty shelf. You just got the, the... <laughs> I forgot what this is called, but it's the set with Unikitty. And then there's my only Lego movie set. And the Lego movie was my favorite movie of all time. How? But anyway, here we have the Bat Cave, along with some minifigures that really not supposed to be here, but yeah, they just look there. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, the Bat Cave. I like I like this set a lot. That's Bruce Wayne. I really like this set a lot. It was, I played with this a lot as a kid. Yeah, really nice. All right, so these are essentially my Lego city vehicles. Yeah. Really didn't have enough you know, space to put them anywhere else, so I put them here, and it's just a row of them. <laughs> and then I also didn't have any spaces to put my villains, and all that, so you just see a whole bunch of villains shopping for vehicles. And then <laughs> there's even a robber right there at the checkout. Yep. All right, so here is my Lego Ninjago shelf. And I really like Ninjago. I know some of you don't, but I personally love Ninjago. Huge fan of it. And here we go. Looks pretty good. It's just, a, I guess, in a way, fight scene. Fight scene, Lego Melee. There's just Jay up there, hanging out there. There's another Jay. It's Cole, Kai, a little Kai was already over here. So yeah, there's just multiple Kai's and whatnot. Take a look at that. Yeah, pretty nice. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> and here is the final shelf. And this is one of my favorite shelves because it, it holds basically uh, my big, big uh, Ninjago dragons or vehicles yeah you just uh and on each uh vehicle there's just someone there with their dragons so yeah we just got them then we got the realm crystal and then we got the two mechs along with zane there and uh the i don't know their names those ghost names i don't know but yeah i love dragons so yeah i got for some reason, I only have the Green Ninja's Dragon. Technically, this is Moro's, but yeah. All right, so here we got my bed. And in this drawer, we have basically the rest of my Lego collection. Yeah. My two base plates that I have. Oh, I really only use this one right here. And some Lego boxes, such as Lego Bionicle boxes. And then this transformer box right here actually contains all my Lego instructions. Yep, all the Lego instructions I have go into there. Then these bins right here are Legos, but they're organized. So these ones are essentially, you know, base plate Legos. Just flat, every piece, yeah, you see right there, they're just flat. And then here we have lunch cube. We have a Two by two is right there, one one by one, and then we have uh, two by twos, but they're slope pieces, slope going down, slope going up. And essentially, that's just all the containers here. They're just organized Lego bricks, and then we have the real only Lego uh, 
brick set that I have. These are Lego Bionicles. This is the <laughs> brick set box I have, and that's this. This one, just, just a box of brick, but these are like, yeah, an actual set. Yeah. I like this box so much, I kept it. I <laughs> can't really keep Lego boxes, so I only keep the ones that I really like. And then this right here, it's just my brick separators and miscellaneous pieces. Usually, mostly just Technic. Yeah. But yeah, that's essentially it for my Lego collection. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Because uh, I, 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 I enjoy making this video. And maybe in 2019, I can do another Lego collection video. Yeah. Well, see you guys and gals. Bye. Okay, so this is after uh, I just recorded that video and edited it. Uh, I just remembered, uh, well, I, well, I did remember, but I wasn't sure if I should show you. But I decided to show you anyway, because it is my Lego collection. So I might as well show you basically everything. So here is uh, the thing I use for my Lego reviews. So when I look at the mini figures, yeah, this is essentially just it. Yep. And then this is what I use to hold. Well, the technically camera or phone when I'm recording is what I use. It's made out of Legos and Mega Blocks, and I think Creo too. But it's it's yeah, it's what I use, and it has some Legos. These pieces here are Legos, and this base plate here is also Legos. But yeah, yeah, I use I use this to hold the camera. Phone, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah. Okay, bye.